All right, friends, so today I want you simply to just have some water. Have a little hand towel if you need to to dab off the sweat as we go. This is a cardio strengthening workout, so we don't need any weights. We're not gonna go on the floor. Uh, we're gonna do standing exercises with the exception of doing a hand walkout. So you don't need any cushion for that. Um, we will do a plank at some point, but we're gonna do a little higher level surface, okay? So that way you can use the side of your couch or a table like I'm gonna do, and we can do it there. Let's go ahead and get started. So I want those hands up in front of you. We're gonna bring the knees up alternating sides. Nice and tall, I want that chin retraction so that you have your abs engaged. We're gonna do the warm up first. So we're gonna start to open up towards that knee that's up, rotate and open the chest. The key is to keep those knees forward. Your legs aren't rotating with you. Just that upper body. One more. Yes, I'm traveling forward. <laughs> okay, so what I want you to do here is we're gonna step out to the side. We're gonna do a little curtsy. We're just warming up, so we're not bending deep down. And we're just going from one side, cross it back, step it wide, and then take the other foot across behind you. You're gonna stay up tall. Step it wide, cross it back. And last one. All right, good. Wide legs, toes turned out. We're gonna reach down towards the floor and then you scoop it up and take those arms by your ears. Nice exhale as you reach it up. Lower body as well as arms. Getting some work. Now, as we start the workout, we're gonna do one minute of every exercise. We're gonna take a 10 second rest. A very quick catch your breath, transition to the next exercise. We're gonna repeat through all of those exercises twice. And release here. I'm just gonna go ahead and get that little timer set up for us. Okay, so we're doing hand walkouts. We're gonna start out to where you have some room. You're gonna take your hands down to the floor and we walk our hands out until you're in a push up position. And then you just take that butt up, walk those hands to the feet, come back up. You can determine the pace that feels comfortable for you. That's the beauty of this. We're going on a timer. I might get five done, you might get six done. So you take your time, you come up slow enough to where you don't feel like you're getting dizzy. Keep those hips from dipping down in that plank position. We have 20 more seconds here. This exercise in itself works every muscle in the body. Nice exhale as you come up. Four seconds. And up, this is your breather. I lied, we have like a 15 second rest. We're gonna do butt kicks next. I'll show you modified for that. All right, so you can be here. Taking it slow, alternating from side to side. Get that heel towards your booty or 
you can add a little hop in between if you want to. If that's too much on your knees, just stay here. Add those arms in. That's going to increase your heart rate. You're going to work harder because you're adding that arm movement rather than standing here like this. Okay? Apartment friendly, or if you're on the second floor, to just step side to side, kick the butt. Move those arms back and forth, just like you're running. We're just staying in place here. You have 10 more seconds. And release, here's your little breather. Now we have a reverse lunge with a toe tap in front. We're not actually reaching towards the toes, okay? So stay nice and tall. We're gonna alternate legs, not just one side. Start out, lunge, bring it up. You can do a knee up, then we're going to the other side. Or straight leg and tap. Nice exhale, oops. And I just repeated the same side. Alternate those legs. I'm gonna do two on this side just to make it even. Modify, knee up, take it to the other side. Determine how far down you feel comfortable. Make sure that knee's lining up with that middle toe staying forward. Your chest is nice and tall. Modify by how far down you go. This is modify. Bring that knee up. Advance, full lunge, down, leg forward. Modify, knee up. We're almost there. All right, rest. If you have time, you can grab a sip of water. We have nine seconds. We're going wide squat to narrow. Start with those feet wide, squat back, step it in and narrow. We're gonna go to the other side, step it wide, bring it into the center and narrow. Back to wide and narrow and wide. Sit your butt back like you're looking for a chair in both of these. You're just alternating which foot steps out into that wide squat, center the body, go into narrow. You can pick up the pace if you want to. You feel like your form is good, you wanna go a little faster. Feel free to do that too. We have five seconds, sitting it back. All right, release it. I want you to find a surface to where you can um, come up to a higher level surface. We're gonna be in a plank position. All right. So we have one second, ready? That knee goes up towards the elbow on that side. Flat back. Hold that chin retraction. We're just alternating knee to elbow. You can just bring it in towards the chest if that's difficult for you, okay? Nice exhale, lift that knee either towards the chest or towards the elbow, towards the outside. If you have problems with your wrist, a higher level surface will help. Lengthen from the back of the neck. We have 10 seconds to go. Almost there. One more. And we're gonna walk it in and stand up. We have alternating jumping jacks. I'm gonna show you modified, but you're still gonna get your heart rate up, okay? Ready? You step it out to the side. Alternating sides, your hands go overhead. Nice and tall, 
This is great if you need low impact. It's great if you have any kind of pelvic floor problems like leaking. We don't want to add jumping to the mix. If you have trouble controlling your bladder, keep that breathing going. I find that these are even great for getting your heart rate up and you don't have to do a full on jack. You can if you want to. We have 15 more seconds. You're basically kind of leaning into a side lunge, stepping it out, taking those arms overhead. Step side to side, two seconds. Release. You're walking it out, we are not sitting down. This is just to catch our breath. We're gonna do squats to calf raises next and step it out, we take it back. We come up, raise those heels off the floor. Sit the butt back. Keep that chin retraction. Don't let that chin come forward when you sit back into that squat. You can slow it down if you need to. You can go a little faster as long as you're holding good form. Feel free to pull your phone up, put it on camera so you can see yourself and you can check your form. Or if you have a mirror, you can work out in front of that mirror. We have 15 more seconds. And eight, get it back, four, Two, really get your breath grab a sip of water if you need it so we're gonna do a curtsy lunge rotation all right so step it back curtsy we're gonna bring that knee up rotate and step it back tap rotate towards that knee nice exhale Pushing off that front leg. If you can pull through, whoop, see that works your balance. <laughs> so if you can pull through without tapping that foot, that's a little more advanced. All right, we're gonna go ahead and swap sides. Thirty seconds on each side. And release. Catch your breath. We just have one more. We're gonna do high knees here, but we're gonna take it where we're crossing. Okay. So here, arms up, opposite elbow towards the opposite knee, stepping it down. A little rotation. You can speed it up. If you feel like your back feels fine, you're able to stay nice and tall and not let your back round at all. You want that chin retraction, engage the abs. Fifteen seconds here. Ten. Almost there. Five. Two. Release. All right, grab yourself a sip of water. We're starting all the way over. We've got those hand walkouts. A full 60 seconds. You ready? Walk it out. Plank position. Keeping those hips up. Walk into your feet. We come all the way back up. Woo! 
slow to raise. Make sure you're not getting dizzy. Nice little exhale, coming all the way back up. We're halfway there. Sure we can fit in one more. And you come up, go ahead and release. We have butt kicks next. So just walk it out. Get ready. Three seconds. All right, remember, you can just alternate side to side. That's what I'm gonna do. If you wanted to go a little bit faster, you could do this, or you can stay down. Add in those arm movements, swing it out. Step it side to side, get those heels back towards your booty, trying to touch your butt as you kick. Stay nice and tall. Halfway there. Okay, so the next one coming up is a reverse lunge to toe tap. Remember, you can modify by how far down you go into that lunge. You can bring a knee up rather than extending the full leg. And we're gonna alternate sides. If you do one side repetitively, like I did the curtsies earlier, we can correct that. All right, so you get to rest. Just tap it out side to side. We're just going a little bit slower. Grab some water. You have three seconds. All right, reverse lunge here. Pull through, toe tap. Alternating sides. Bring that straight leg. Keep that chest nice and tall. You're gonna tap probably right at your knee. Maybe a little bit lower. I don't want you to round your back as you're coming up. So we're not actually touching your toes. You're just reaching towards your toe, okay? Modify with that knee raise. Just stay here if you need to. You're halfway there. Twelve more seconds. Working our abs, lifting that leg. Last one, release. Walk it out here, this is your rest. Wide squat to narrow is what we're doing next. Wide legs here, we sit it back. Come into narrow, sit back into that squat. Step it out to the other side and we bring it back into center. Step it wide to center, back to wide. Alternating sides. Now that you have that and you're sitting back like you're looking for a chair, you can speed it up. Halfway there. Make sure those knees feel okay. You wanna stick your butt back far enough to where those knees Stay behind the toes. You should be able to see your toes whenever you squat. Wide, narrow, back to wide. Bring it in, step it wide. Centering your body every time. Last squat. And release it up. So, plank position, elbow to knee or knee, not elbow to knee, knee to elbow, or knee to chest, okay? Here we are, plank position, and you take that knee up, or you can bring it to center, bring it up towards your chest, take it out to the elbow for more advanced 
or to center if you need to. You can even alternate, it's totally up to you. Trying to keep a flat back. Also wanna keep your head up. We don't wanna drop it down like this. So hold that chin retraction, lengthening from the back of the neck. We have 20 seconds remaining. Focusing on your breath. 10 more seconds. And five, three, and we're gonna go ahead and release. Step it up, whoo, I'm dripping sweat. Alternating jacks are next. So take that breather. This is where you need that towel. Keep the sweat from dripping out of your, down into your eyes, you ready? Step it out, side to side. Arms go overhead. Arms overhead is what's getting your heart rate up. You can slow this down, stepping side to side, or speed it up. Making sure your knees feel okay. Lean into it like a little side lunge. We're not going deep. Get that shoulder work. We're at 20 seconds remaining. Again, this lower impact jack is great. If you have issues with your pelvic floor, you don't wanna put more pressure and release. Go ahead and grab yourself a sip of water. We have squat to calf raise next. So I want you to sit back, raise it up on your toes. Sit your butt back. Bring those heels up. Make sure you can see those toes when you sit back into this squat. You determine how far down you go. How deep is that squat? As long as your knees feel okay. Then the other thing you can watch is what are your knees doing? Do they go in and out like this? Or are you able to push against that outer part of the thigh, that means your booty's doing its job. And if your knees are very wobbly, then your glutes aren't activating properly, okay? Might just need some isolation work to get them to wake up and show up to the party. Release here, step it out. We have that curtsy lunge with the knee rotation. So I know earlier I said alternate sides. You can do that for sure. We can stay on the one side for 30 seconds and then swap in the middle. So I'll tell you when that 30 seconds is up. We take it back, knee up, rotate, and then back to curtsy. If you can bring that knee up without tapping, that's great. If you need to tap, no big deal. Just tap in between. All right, here's that 30 second mark. You're gonna alternate sides and you're gonna go to the other side now. Or if you're going from one leg to the other, keep doing that. There's no wrong way. We're just making sure we're even on both sides. You may notice one leg is easier as far as balance goes. And the other leg might be a little bit more difficult. Here we are, last one. Now, grab a, a quick sip of water. We have high knees here, but we're gonna do that rotation. Arms are up, opposite elbow, opposite knee, rotate. Or you can get that twist going where you're twisting towards that knee as the other one goes down or you can pause, pause, 
rotate and step it down, slow it down or more advanced, picking it up. High knees, chin retraction. He want a nice tall posture. This is our last exercise in this rotation. I want you to give it all you got. This is it, 15 more seconds. You can stay with me. 10 seconds left. Keep going. And five, three, and release. Step it out. All right, 214 calories burned so far. 183, no, 166. I was looking at another number, sorry. 166 beats per minute for my heart rate. That's a low impact cardio workout. It's pretty good. So you don't have to go high intensity to get a great workout. Okay. So if you can, if you have somewhere to bring your foot up, I want you to bring your foot up and we're gonna point that toe up to the ceiling. You're gonna bend at your hips and lead with your chest here. You can bring one hand forward. You're gonna hold good hamstring stretch right here. But what we don't wanna do is round down, feeling like we're getting further, okay? So bend at the hips, lead with your chest. Keep a flat back. You're lengthening from the spine. You might be really tight in your calves. Bringing that toe back will help to stretch all the right muscles. And I want you to slow release. Walk those hands up your leg, coming back up. And then we bring the other leg up. You might have a chair or something that you're using. Bend at the hips, lead with your chest, reaching forward. It's taken me a while to get my hamstrings to lengthen a little bit more. And I stretch just about every day, very short periods, no more than five minutes. So just a little bit will help. Now, the big thing here, chin retraction, lengthen from the spine, lead with your chest. You'll feel all of those muscles in your back they're stretching, the fascia is stretching. Everybody's tight different places, but I can feel it right between my shoulder blades. Super tight right there. Nice deep breath in, walk those hands up. And I want you to get a good quad stretch here and hip flexor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have you step one leg back. You can hold on to a wall, back leg is straight. Chest is nice and tall, because as soon as you bend forward, hip flexors are no longer in that stretch. Nice and tall. Feel that come all the way up to the hip bones. The top of the quads, that front of your thigh, holding here. Now you can bring that same side arm, lift it up, push that palm to the ceiling. We're not leaning to the side, you're going straight up. Nice deep breath in. All right, slowly release that arm. Bring that leg in. We're gonna step the other side back. All right, that heel goes back, straight leg. Release if you can. Hold that other arm out if you need to to help stabilize. Want that chin retraction. Same side as the leg that's back. It's left arm, left leg. If you're on that side, taking that arm up as high as you can. Biceps towards that ear, but I don't want you to lean your head to the side to get it close, okay? So we're just trying to get that arm up. Fingers come down towards the floor. We're flexing that wrist. Nice, good stretch, even in the wrist.
slowly release the arm and bring that leg in. Now, let's just take a quick drop to the floor. Now this, I'm just gonna have you relax. Nice deep breath into your back. Relax the head. Relax your arms. And you're gonna slowly walk yourself up. Congratulations on getting today's workout in. I know I'm dripping sweat. Get your water in, okay? Half of your body weight in ounces is your minimum requirement. And let me know if you have any questions.